hello guys today i'm here with a new tutorial and in this video i'm gonna show how to fix or enable intel uhd graphics with full acceleration on mac os mojave so guys before starting if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates as i was receiving huge requests to fix intel uhd graphics on mac os mojave so here i am so guys let's start so guys as you can see currently I am running Mac OS Mojave version 10.14.3 and the build number is 18D42. So as you can see the graphics is being recognized as Intel UHD graphics 6307 MB only but it should be 1536 MB and then only we can able to get the full acceleration. You can check the full acceleration if the dock is transparent. So as you can see the dock is not transparent yet means the graphics is not working with the full acceleration. So here in the displays tab you will find the same Intel UHD graphics 6307 MB only. So let's fix this. So all you need to do is download this fix from the description. Don't worry all download links are provided under video in the description. So after downloading this file just extract it. Open the folder. So as you can see here is the clover configurator to mount the EFI system partition and one readme file which contains instructions to fix the Intel UHD graphics on Mac OS Mojave and two kex file lilu and whatever green. So let's fix this. So open clover configurator, click on mount EFI and select your uh, main system drive on which uh, the system is loaded. So currently it's Samsung SSD 960 EVO 250 gigs. So click on the mount partition and enter your password, press enter and as you can see the EFI system partition has been mounted over here. So close Clover configurator, open the EFI partition, open the EFI folder, open the Clover folder. So as you can see I have already installed Clover bootloader so no need to install it but if you haven't installed the Clover bootloader then install it and then follow the steps. So here is the configure.plis file and this is the patch one for this specific system. So open the configure.plis file and here in the ACPI tab and you will need to add the renames. So click on the plus button and under command type change gfx0 to iGPU under find type 47465830 and under replace type 49475055 here you don't have to use the target bridge or something then click on plus to add the next rename now type change HECI to IMEI under find type 48454349 under replace type 494D4549 now click on plus button to add the next rename now type change MEI to IMEI under find type 4D4549 5F and under replace type 494D45 and 49. So here is the three renames being used in the ACPI. First one is the change GFX0 to IGPU. The comments are not necessary. You can use any comment but this comment will uh, make the renames clear for what purpose it being used make sure that you use the correct values otherwise it will not work and you will get the acceleration only 7 megabytes so first patch is the change gfx0 to igpu these are the renames and the value for find is 47465830 and for the replace it's 49475055 the next rename is change heci to imei and the find value is 48454349 and the replace value is 494D4549. The third rename is change MEI to IMEI and the find value is 4D4549.5F and the replace value is 494D4549. Now these are the three renames here and now go to boot tab and here you don't have to do anything but only select NV disable is equal to 1. This will disable all the loading of nvidia drivers but as you are using intel uhd graphics so there is no need of it but i recommend to use this boot arc nv underscore disable is equal to one so this is all here and you don't need to use the disable gfx firmware anymore go to devices tab and make sure that the intel gfx column is totally empty you don't have to put any value 
over here this will automatically being detected by the system using whatever green and lilucex now go to graphics tab no need to make any changes here the inject intel checkbox will be remain unchecked and the ig platform id will remain blank too few users have reported pink screen after fixing intel uhd graphics 630 on mac os mojave there are two ways to fix it one is forcing the rgb and second one is to use a fixed sm bios which has no rgb issues so for now we will use the sm bios method so all you need to do is change the sm bios to a compatible one which has no rgb issues so go to sm bios tab the current uh, cpu is intel core i3 8100 which possesses intel uhd graphics 630 and as you can see the current sm bios is imac 183 you can also check in about this mac system report so as you can see the current system definition is imac 183 using this system definition will uh, have a pink screen issue and the rgb issues so i suggest you to use a fix sm bios for it you can change it from here so click on it and change the sm bios to imac 171 and this is the fix sm bios and tested and it has no rgb uh, or the pink screen issues so i suggest you to use imac 171 so just click on it and the sm bios information will be changed here as you can see here is the imac 171 now all the necessary changes has been taken place so click on close and click on okay to save the configuration now go to kext folder open the other folder and make sure you use lilu and whatever green kext for now it's already in my system but for now i will just replace this with the latest one select apply to all and click on replace so as you can see the lilu and whatever green text has been placed over here now close the folder now close this close clover configurator and now you need to restart your system now click on apple logo and click on restart click on restart and the system will restart now press delete key to open your bios menu and here you will need to make some necessary changes so go to chipset tab and select the internal graphics to enable set dbmt pre allocated to 64 megabyte and set dbmt total gfx memory to 256 mb now go to save and exit tab select save and exit setup press enter key and press enter to confirm now press f12 to enter boot menu now select your drive where you have installed mac os so here is the samsung ssd 960 evo to 50 gb so make sure you boot using ufi prefix press enter to boot now as you can see here is the clover boot loader so select boot mac os from macintosh hd and press enter to boot and now as you can see here is the welcome screen so enter your password press enter so now the system has been restarted so let's check out if the intel uhd graphics 630 has been fixed or not so click on apple logo and then select about this mac and as you can see currently the graphics is being recognized as intel uhd graphics 6301536 6 mb so this indicates that the graphics has been fixed and the system is more smooth now now go to display tab and as you can see here also intel uhd graphics 6301536 mb graphics is being detected click on system report and go to graphics and display tab so as you can see here is the intel uhd graphics 630 and the vram is the 1536 mb completely recognized and the metal is being supported and here is the connected monitor information so this indicates that the intel uhd graphics 630 is working with the full acceleration has been fixed totally and uh, go to hardware and as you can see the sm bios information has been also changed earlier it was imac 183 and now it's imac 171 and there is no any pink screen or rgb issues here the screen is very sharp and very clear and as you can also see the dock is also transparent now you can play youtube videos and use chrome properly without any crash and lags and the system is pretty much smooth now after fixing the graphics the graphics is very sharp and clear it's very crisp so guys we have fixed intel uhd graphics 630 
and that was pretty much easy. Finally, we have a full working Intel UHD Graphics 630 working with full acceleration. So as you can see, the dock is also transparent now and there is no any pink screen or RGB issues. Now you can use Chrome, enjoy watching YouTube videos and many more. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. For more updates, stay connected. Have a great day.